Here is my interactive Melbourne house prices chart. I can use this slider to increase the price and see how many houses are under that price point in Melbourne. Right now we are looking at 1.14 million. But if I go up a little bit, I can see that 80% of all the houses in Melbourne are under that price point and the average sale price is $827,000. And would you believe if I told you that this is made in Excel? That's right, not Power BI, but Excel. And today, let's understand how you can create such a cool, fun and interactive chart using good old Excel. Let's go. In this file, I have got the Melbourne housing data. This data is obtained from Kaggle. Even though we have got a lot of columns, for this analysis, I'm going to use just the price column and the distance to the city column as my X and Y axis values. We'll add another sheet for our visualization. And here, I'm going to go to the developer ribbon. If you don't see developer ribbon, you can enable it by right clicking and customizing the ribbon and insert a scroll bar option here for this scroll bar we would like to change the values from 1 through 100 so right click on this go to format control and set minimum as 1 maximum as 100 i'm gonna set these values to 5 and link it to a cell you can link it to a cell on this page but because all our data is here i'm gonna link it to the cell here or q4 on my data worksheet right now this says 1 but see what happens if I scroll on this guy, it will be 31 or whatever is the position of that scroll bar. We can use this number to figure out which houses to highlight on the visual. Initially, we would like to just show everything and then bring this and highlight the relevant houses. So I'm going to select my price column, hold down control and select the distance column. This way you grab both of these columns and insert a scatter plot. As the prices are going from $0 up until almost $10 million, there is a little bit too much noise there and we are not able to see the patterns. For the purpose of this analysis, let's limit the values on the chart from 0 to 3 million. You can set the axis maximum on X axis here and that kind of spreads out the values a little bit and takes out those noisy points at the end of the graph. For the y-axis, we'll do the same. We'll limit our analysis from 0 to 30 kilometers from the city. There are very few houses above 30 kilometers. So again, axis maximum 30. I'm going to cut this visual and paste it on my visual worksheet and make it nice and big. All of these dots are in the blue color. What I would like to do is make them dull so that whatever dots we want to highlight, they can come in the blue color. So we'll go to the marker format, fill color and change to one of these gray color options and make it 50% transparent. While we are here, I'm also getting rid of the border around the markers and now we'll get this kind of a picture. We'll need to make one adjustment to the actual X values, the prices. This is because the dots are all over the place. What I would like to do is take the price and round it to the nearest 50,000. So we can go to the data and add a column here, price and this is M round of my price and 50,000. Now let's adjust the reference. You can right click, go to select data and edit the series, point to the new price values and you'll get something like this. With these new prices, we can see that the prices are all in the 50,000 marks but this makes it harder for us to see the spread so now that we have done it you can add a little bit of jitter jitter is random noise so that the dots kind of spread on either side of the 50,000. you can add another column call it price jitter and this is equal to this plus a random value so rand between let's just go between negative 10,000 and positive 10,000. Let's select the data again, edit it and point to the jittered price values. So now you can see the density of the dots a lot better and you can also see some spacing so you can see this kind of going in 50,000 at a time. 
these are not the true prices but it doesn't really impact the interpretation of the data that much given the number of data points that we have next let's integrate this form control with the chart based on the value of this form control we need to highlight a number of dots so here the value is already there we just need to convert that 31 into a price point and then do the comparison so for the sake of simplicity as our table is growing i'm going to cut this and move it further to the right so that it doesn't come and overlap on the table as this goes from 0 to 100 0 will be our minimum price and 100 would be our maximum price so we can do this here min and max and min is minimum of my melbourne table price column and maximum you might write maximum again but remember in the chart we set the maximum value to be 3 million so that's the value that i'm going to use and the range of this values is maximum minus minimum so now we just want to get to the 31st percentage so this would be price check would be minimum plus this times that divided by 100 so at 31 we are looking at 988,650 so this is the value that we need to check against the price column here let's fill up some color on that so we know which cell it is it is u12 and then we're going to add a highlight question mark column in this column i want to highlight my price if it is under that value so this is a simple if formula if my price jitter is less than this value here and get me the price jitter else i don't want anything so na so this is gonna na out a lot of values and highlight some of the values let's add this series to the chart as well so we can go right click select data add highlight series whose x values are in my highlight column and whose y values are in my distance column when you do that you'll see a bunch of dots changing the color automatically and at this point it's kind of more or less working you just have to play with the scroll bar and you can see those colors appearing now let's apply some formatting we can go with this orange color or change to the blue color like the way i did in my original thing use the format data series options to set these colors and there is our chart you can see that it works nicely it highlights the values while this does present the information it doesn't have a good title or anything so let's go ahead and build some titles so here we'll set up a section for titles and we would like to show three kinds of titles i'm gonna bring up the original chart here so you can quickly see what we need we would like to show a title that says how many houses are there under the given price point currently selected what is the average price of those houses and how many percentage of the houses are there under that price point so three different numbers are needed along with that we would like to also tidy up some of the access formatting and add some bells and whistles so we'll do a house count this is nothing but how many houses are under this so here we can simply say count ifs and select the highlight column is it less than ampersand the price check value so we'll get the number of houses under that a quick note about this data here here in this data i'm using 13000 data points whereas in the demo workbook that i showed you earlier i'm only using 3000 houses uh, randomly sampled so the average price would be average ifs of melbourne price column melbourne highlight is less than this number and percentage would be number of houses that we that are under this price point divided by total number of houses so we can say count a of the let's just go with the price column so right now we are looking at 71 percent of houses we can format this in 72 percent and all the numbers are here we can now generate the title uh, the titles can be written using some simple formulas so main title is we want to say 9741 houses are under the price point of whatever is shown there 
So initially we'll say text of this value in the thousands format. So hash and hash hash with a comma houses are under the price of and then one more text formula for this dollar hash 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 we don't need to show it up to the hundred dollars so i'm gonna round it up to thousand so we'll get this kind of a number representation nine thousand seven hundred and forty one houses under the price of 1.28 million a key component of generating titles for any kind of charts in Excel is to understand how to use text formula. This way you can take your numbers and reformat them in whatever way you want for your presentations. Subtitle is what is the average price of these houses? Average sale price is and then again text of this. And then percentage value is here. We can use that directly, but I'm gonna percentage number is equal to this times 100. And then I'm just gonna format this as a number with zero decimal places. You'll understand why this is needed in a minute. So all the three things are here. Let's come back to the visual page here and uh, take out the title. Take this guy and make it nice and small we don't need such a big scroll bar it just everything next i'll go to the view and turn off the grid lines as well as go to the format and take out the fill color and outline on this chart so the chart doesn't have any border around it and now here i can put my titles uh, we want one title and one subtitle so we can insert some text boxes for this and draw a big text box here and in this text box select the formula bar say equal to and point to the title text that we created this way whatever that cell says that's what my text box here will show we can apply some of the formatting on this text box so i'm gonna go with the this aptos extra bold formatting and uh, let's make it nice and big like that and go with the same blue color that we are using to highlight the values we'll copy paste the same thing and put it underneath and this one will change the reference to the subtitle let's take out any borders from these text boxes so this is how they look and you can see that these numbers are changing we would like to also show a percentage representation somewhere on the graph so for this i'm gonna insert one more text box in this corner here and this text box is equal to this number and let's make it uh, nice and big and let's go with the same blue color again this time i want to select this and make the color 50 percent transparent so it kind of looks like it's blended with the chart so it just says 56 and now we want to show a percentage symbol as well for this i'll add one more text box just in the corner here and in this uh, i'll just uh, type percent manually adjust its formatting and we'll make this also 50 percent transparent finally let's tidy up the axis so we'll select this axis format it and you can adjust the number formatting here alternatively you can also do it in the raw data so if you're doing it here you can just type the format code and that's how that number formatting will appear and let's add a title for the vertical axis to say that this is the distance from CBD. You can either use a text box or apply the axis title from the format options in Excel. I like the text box option. So I'm going to add a text box here and then type and make the text vertical center align it. While the text box is good, I like the idea of having an icon here that shows the CBD building and a rural landscape on the top end so that it looks a little bit cool. To do this, we can go to insert, click on icons and search for a building icon that looks good and a farm icon. This looks good and we are just going to move them here to the corner, resize them and position them and just tone down the colors to something that kind of blends with the background. And there is our dynamic Melbourne prices 
chart. You may also want to add another title here in the corner. I have done like something like this, Melbourne house prices. You can just type these things with text boxes or create in a, an illustration tool like Photoshop or something and bring that there. And that makes the whole thing come together nicely. Do you like it? What else would you add to this? Let me know in the comments by telling how you would represent or interpret this data. And if you want to learn some other cool and awesome excel charting tricks check out the excel charting playlist that shows up on the screen i'll catch you somewhere else bye bye <laughs>